Welcome back guys, we're back here and we're in a poncho in a late kingdom, which is not ideal. So let's go talk to this chick really fast. My goodness, that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited. And they stole our finest lot lady dress. It's a tragedy. Okay, so there's there's your story. Um, did I miss anything over here yet? No. Nope. Alright, so we can go in here, turn into this and look around. Brutal's over the lake. Okay, so that's where we're going. Oh, bunch of wedding goombas or something? We'll see what's up with that in a little bit. First, we're gonna go over here. Did I become anything new here? No. Alright, let's get these. Just use swim to go a little bit faster around. Simple. Easy moon. Easy moon to start out with. I think this episode I'm gonna try to beat the Brutals across the lake. Oh wait, there we go. So now we're gonna come down and see what's in here. Oh, just a shit ton of coins, right on. Um, new thing that we can be is a zipper. Ain't it cool? I'm pretty sure. I thought there was something here. Alright, well, let's go back up, because we're not done exploring this area yet. There's a... Th oh, wait, no, that's the... That's the moon rock. But there is some purple coins here, apparently. I want to know where the shop is. I want to get to the shop as soon as possible, because I can change my attire. I'm not trying to be in a poncho in a late kingdom. I need a swimsuit or something. Alright, so let's just get down here as fast as possible. What's over here? Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Because I know there was a side way that takes me somewhere different. Oh, this is the side way. Alright, so let's hit that free moon again. This... This, uh, kingdom's really not that hard to get through in a GIF. I'd honestly say it's one of the faster ones. I wish I, my first playthrough, I was really hoping I could become these guys, but they're just things that destroy like Lego pieces. In fact, I I almost want to say they're just in here for the Lego sets. All right, but we can become these guys, cheap cheeps. Dive, surface, and attack. That's all these guys can do. There are these moon pieces around though, so I need to go around and find those. Oh. Alright, let's do this really fast. Oh, it's just coins. Come cheap, cheap again. Mustachio cheap, cheap nonetheless. Oh, there's a moon on this dude's back. I'll grab that really fast too. Oh my goodness. The cheap, cheap really messes with your depth perception. Oh, got one up here. Should I get back out? Oh. Oh wait, down here. Um, let's go up to the top here. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, oh, they clapped for me. Well, let's explore here for a little bit because I'm pretty sure this is where the shop is. Yep. But I don't think I have enough to change into anything. I could be wrong. Maybe I can at least change something. Damn. Damn. Alright, we'll come back when I can change my entire outfit. Do you have a moon I can buy really fast? Y'all. I guess I can change into hipster Mario. I might do that. Yeah, I'm gonna change into hipster Mario really fast unless there's something else. Damn, I don't have enough for that either. Alright, yep. 
Change now. Bye. Change now. Okay, so now if in the 2D courses, we'll at least look different. At least. Oh my goodness. Look at those red shoes. They're so red. Wow. Alright. Um. Get this checkpoint really fast. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. So there we go. We got all those. There's another checkpoint? Okay. We still have a couple more mood and fragments that we have to get, but... Wow, this is... I agree. I don't remember this being so damn deep. It's like the endless staircase from the first one. And then in Mario 64. Come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, Toad. Toad, my man. How the hell did you get down here? Oh, he doesn't even know how he made it down here. But I discovered the power moon down here. Jeez. You know, that tent kind of looks like a snail. Oh. I look at its, uh... Face, those two things being the eyes, and it's just... Get in here. He has a lot of backpack. A lot of backpack. A lot of luggage. Make sure there's nothing else down here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go back up to the top. There's the parrot that gives us hints. There's a mystery block. Oh. Anything up here? No. Stop. Pixel Peach, give me that. Give me that. Does this just take me up here? Yeah. She only lets me in if I'm dressed like a snorkeler. Alright, let's get these last few secret or the moon pieces. There we go. What else do we have? We have one more somewhere. There it is. Dumb. There we go. Where's it done? Put the moon at. Right in the center. Right on. So I, we're gonna go grab that moon. And then we're just gonna. I think there's a 2D segment somewhere. I'm gonna go do the 2D segment because those are my favorite. I believe it was right up there, in that pipe up there. Actually, I think this chick gives me a moon for just being a cheap cheap. Oh, not until I beat them, I guess. All right, well, let's get this 2D segment going. These are my favorite. All right. Oh, look at that hipster Mario. There we go. There we go. Now we're just going to keep going through this secret because it's so well hidden. And get these purple coins. Easy moon. Honestly, most of the game uh, moons in this game are easy. There's not too many hard ones. <laughs> I wonder if I can just get up there by being good at platforming. Oh, there are some coins back there I'll go grab. This game's really just one of the first good collectathons to come out for a while. At the start of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I thought it was going to be another collectathon, and I got really excited. And then it ended up being Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So that's just unlucky. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. There we go. 
Did I get to the top of this one? Oh, come on. There we go. Guess we'll just use that to come break these. Oh, yeah. Free moon. And it's over there. I see a hat door. We'll just try to complete this one as much as possible, actually. It might be a bit of a longer episode, but it shouldn't be too long. Maybe 20 minutes. There we go. Now I can get up there without using the damn vault. Uh, not vault, but... Thing. Turn into the zipper. More free coins. What? Use some fancy footwork to get up here. Such a good hat. Um, we'll actually get up there too. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I actually don't even know if I've done this on my account yet. Like my main playthrough. I don't think I have. Uh, I thought there might be. Oh, yep. Slight secret. Might as well get as many coins as possible though. Aw. <sighs> Easy mechanics to get used to. Fuzzies from Paper Mario. Is there something better on this side? Well shit, is there something better on that side then? Oh fuck! I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Or why I thought that was a decent idea. Oh well. Definitely don't try to get through this as fast as possible. Just cheat and go this way. Okay, cool. This purple coin's this way. That makes me feel a bit better. Would have taken me a while to get those. Slide through there. Solid. Alright, now it's just flower mechanics. It has to be fun making a platformer in game. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We're moving up, right? There we go. Alright. Solid. Oh, wait. No! Oh! Huh! Would you look at that? Free. Free. Oh, I'm in the chest. Alright, um. I'd like to still get these. Free coins are never bad. Alright, let's go through this now. This is actually coming to be pretty solid. Now we're gonna go face the Brutals. I won't keep you guys any longer. Grab these last coins here and then face them. Almost done with this level, I'd say. Alright, let's see it. Who, which one are we facing this time? Har har har. You're too late. We already got the last lady dress. This one has a... Goofy accent. And we even matches the mouse to tuxedo. Fuck. No, so no way we're giving it back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right on. Alright. Very easy mechanic for this boss, and I fucked it up. I fucked it up on the first one. Do I have to hit it? I don't remember. I think I have to hit it. 
Yep. Then you just match your shadow up for where he's at and then spin on him. And then he bounces. Like Goofy would. Fairly easy. I think on the last one he might start to run around. At the end of the game, we have to face all of these guys again. I love his idle dance thing. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. He actually might kill me. Oh, there we go. Alright, last hit. Easy boss fight that I almost failed. That would have been really upsetting. Does it give me a tri moon? Yep. Alright, solid. So I think in the next one we're going to go to the Wooded Kingdom. I love how awesome it is whenever you get a special moon. Alright, so now we're going to fly back to the ship. Deposit our earnings. And then we're going to go to the Wooded Kingdom, yeah. We actually might have enough to go to the one after Wooded Kingdom. We will go in order, though. There we go, yeah. 54. We actually got 14 this episode. That's actually crazy. Alright. Okay, no. So now it just opens up to the Wooded Kingdom. So yeah, we'll go to the Wooden Kingdom next. We'll see you guys there next time. Peace.